Come here, we are strolling through the Ancestral River Park here at Asin Manso, the last bath here in the central region. And this is part of our reconnection program. Uh, we titled Ancestor Day 2 and we have Ancestor Day 1 which is us there at the Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeon. Dungeons and these uh, presentations are made to just give you this a real feel, a real history, a real connection of what happened to our stolen African ancestors. So here we have the first bath of return and over here we have oh, the original oh, okay. last bath of a town. Yeah. But you're going to hear some history from here. Uh, and then the one you leave here, you look at some of the They're almost there. Agu! Hey. Agu! Hey. Alright, so, assuming we were the ones in the chains and shackles, I'm going Come closer. I'm going to use just these few minutes of walking from there to this place as a 400 miles journey. So then that means we have walked for 400 miles and we are here. I'm tired. Tired. Yeah, yeah, we've been shaved, we've been fed, and there is one thing to do, that's to take us into the river and bathe us. But then when they got here, because we are too many, they had to change some of them to trees. The others were sent down there to the river. Two different rivers flow through this same spot. The river from my right hand side, your left, is called the Donkonsu. Donko means slaves. So then, this is the slaves river. They took their last bath in the slaves river. They were never allowed to go into the Ochi river because it flows too fast. Ochi literally means something that will grab you. And judging from the way this river is flowing, sometimes it comes up so this high and very dangerous, moves too swiftly and fast. So then they were scared to send the captives there. They were thinking that if they allow them to go in there, some of them will allow the river to carry them away, or they themselves will drown themselves. And there wouldn't be no commodity to sell. So they restricted them from going there. When they were sending them down to the uh, Donkonsu, they added a metal round ball to the chains around their ankles to go there and hold them still, preventing them from escaping. Whilst there, they couldn't even use their hands, so these people would cut the bamboos and use it as a form of brush. They beat the bamboos open, use it to scrub their skin, leaving a mark on the bo the, their bodies. So many scratches. After they were done with them, they pulled them out here, lined them up. The entire perimeter you see was used as the auctioning center. It was here that they were sold finally. But before they, sell, uh, they sold them, they left them there for a couple of minutes to get dry, and then they applied shea butter or palm kernel oil on them, just for them to look much presentable and shiny for the people to come here to pick. When they were coming, they had their branding tools. These long-handled tools were brought here. They left it in the fire before even going to pick, uh, pick the one they want. Whenever you are pulled out, they pay for you, then they chain you to the trees like this and burn either your skin at the back, your chest, your shoulder, forearm. Wherever they please, is, that's where they will tag you, leaving the mark there to show to the public that you now belong to me. Group of um, merchants like Barclays Bank, Liverpool Group of Company, Manchester Group of Company, all of them were here to pick these people. A lot of them were individual traders. The likes of Don Diego de Azambuja was also here. They all picked up our ancestors and shipped them to the uh, European continent, to the Americas, to sell, sell them to their various plantation owners. Today, finding yourself here, you are returning on behalf of your ancestors. So then, you are, there is no need for you to take a, a last bath. Your ancestors did take their last bath here. This is here to remind us that once upon a time, in the days when our ancestors were being hunted down was the darkest part in the history of Africa and we should never forget about it and then I'm going with you to the first bath of return because you have returned on behalf of your ancestors you wash your hands you cleanse yourself today getting rid of all this last bath they call that our ancestors took so we shall go down there dip your feet into the river put your hands in the wash it and say the prayers say the words once you are done, 
we can come back up and go to the other side and finalize everything. Please come with me. So family, from the last bath, to the first bath of a turn. So yes, family, we're here on another journey of a lifetime here in Ghana, and it is June 1st, 2023, and this is our 23rd journey of a lifetime, and we're representing 17 strong years and reconnecting close to 600 brothers and sisters that have traveled and journeyed with us. There you go, man. You want some soap? <laughs> We go never family. to test this water again. We go family. Embracing connected experience. Anybody have matches? Lighter. Lighter. Lighter, lighter. Yes, my brother, yes. You're feeling the reconnection spirit and energy. Yeah, yeah. And so family, then we come up after we take our, la our first bath of return. And we come up here and then we say we are back home. Okay. Uh, one